Welcome to a new Kojima Goods review. Today we have more hot Korean spicy noodles. Here we go. More hot Korean fiery noodles. And this time it's not bold up brand, it's actually a new brand from the company called Baldo. Volcano chicken noodle with curry. I think they kind of went with the same idea as the bulldog noodles. I mean, they even have the same logo. Did they copy the bulldog noodles? I don't know. Yeah, it's called Volcano Chicken Bokuman. So it's almost the same as the bulldog Bokuman. Maybe Bokuman means like noodle in Korea. I don't know. That's crazy. Hot, hot. <laughs> mm. They look really orange here. I think they use a lot of saturation in the Photoshop edit. Look how orange they are. There's no way it's like this. Well, we're gonna find out soon. And uh, yeah, you guide. Three minutes. And then you take out the water. You stir fry it with the flakes and the sauce. And it's ready. Let's see. Some stats here. Protein 10 grams for 100. That's good. They use a high quality ingredient here, I think. Yeah, let's take it out and see what it looks like. Is it as well packaged as the Bulldog or the Nongshin noodles? What is this Paldo company all about? Let's see. Is Paldo gonna be good? Ooh! Look! It's very stable construct. I like it. What else we have? Oh, 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 hot sauce, hot sauce, look at this. Mm. And some flakes, and what else? That's it. Not many crumbs left behind. This has been on the shop shelf, people have been moving around, and still only this amount of crumbs left behind, so... Mm. The build quality is strong here. Yeah, let's go ahead and cook it up. So here we go. Water is boiling. Let's see if it fits to the pot. It fits. Very nice. Okay, it's been about three minutes now. And it looks to be cooked. And now it's time to take out the water and stir fry it. But leave seven tablespoons. It's time to put the fire sauce. <laughs> Just like the bulldog noodles, it's super dark color. The color of death. Let's take a small sample here, like, like we used to do with the bulldog noodles. Okay, let's try it. Small sample. <laughs> That's hot. That's really hot. And now we stir fry it. Time to turn off the heat and put in some flakes. What flakes are these? I don't know. Hmm. Seems like they have some sesame seed and uh, maybe seaweed as well. Sesame seed and seaweed. That's good. Seaweed is healthy. Lot of nutrients in this one. And here we go. Noodles are ready. Mmm, hot fiery noodles. It's time for the truth. Let's see if Baldo Volcano Chicken Noodles taste any good. Whew, I'm really excited. Something new for once, not always the Bulldog Noodles. This time it's the Baldo Noodles. Mmm, can't really smell anything. Maybe because my nose is a little bit stuck. Yeah, ooh, listen to that. Same noise, thick noodle noise. Steamy noodles, you can see the steam coming. A little bit of seaweed, I smell a little bit of seaweed here. Yeah, let's take a 
bite and see if this is compared to other Korean noodles. Or is Baldo going to be a scam? Their slogan is fun and yum. <laughs> That's a good slogan. Baldo, fun and yum. Fun and yum. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. The heat is coming straight away. It's not like the bulldog noodle where the heat comes after you swallowed it. Ho oh, ho ho. It is spicy. But so far, not as spicy as the bulldog noodles. But the heat is coming faster. Ooh. But yeah. Oh, if you have low tolerance on heat, you're gonna have a hard time with this noodle. Let's compare the color, by the way. Oh, shh, I made a mess. Look, a lot of orange here, but this one is like brown. So they scammed us on the packaging. Minus point for scamming with the adding saturation. Yeah, another bite, let's try it. Mm. The flavor is very pleasant, you know. I can actually taste a little bit of the sesame seed and the seaweed as well from the flakes. The bulldog noodle, they don't come with any flakes, so that's one good thing about this. Flakes. Flakes are good. Mmm. I wonder what happened to the curry. They say curry here, but is there any curry? Let's check the ingredient. So we have enriched wheat flour, potato starch, modified potato starch. So there's potato starch and modified potato starch. What's up with that? Palm oil, salt. Emulsified oil, wheat gluten, vegetable extract. Oh, so many weird chemicals. I don't know what it's all about. That, but yeah, it's really spicy. The spice is hitting later even harder. I thought this would be less than bulldog, but mm, maybe it's because I haven't eaten hot noodles in a long time. My tolerance have went lower. Ooh, but I'm gonna do this without any milk. Mm. <sighs> Contains sesame, soy, wheat, mustard, may contain peanut, tree nuts. What is tree nuts? Like there's some different trees. Which tree are you talking about? Milk, eggs, fish. Crustaceans. I don't know what that is. Shellfish. Gluten. How come it says may contain gluten when it says it has wheat gluten inside? I think they only put this may contain because then they get like uh, immunity from all the lawsuits. Just put everything. May contain. May contain chocolate. May contain apple. May contain oat. May contain like... Uh, beer. Just put everything there and if somebody complains, then they're like, ah, oh, you see, I in front of you here, it may contain it. I'm not reliable here. And the chat will be case dismissed. Oh, but yeah, it's really hot. Oh. Oh. The flakes are roasted sesame seed, seaweed. So let's write about that. It's good addition. Seaweed is one of the healthiest food ever existed on this planet Earth. Oh. You know, I really like this noodle. I think it has a better flavor profile than the super hot bulldog noodles. Because it's like a 
The flakes were not much, but they add the flavor somehow. Small packets, they still add the flavor. Mm. Starting to sweat a little bit, as always when you eat the hot noodles. Ooh, damn. That is spicy, that is really spicy. But the overall level, it's less spicy than Bulldogs, for sure. Yeah, the flavor, yeah, it's like I said, really good. I thought this would be like a knockoff of the Bulldog because they use like the same kind of design, same mascot, the chicken mascot, but it's not the case. This one stands on its own in the noodle hierarchy. And yeah, this one, I will definitely give this solid eight and a half out of 10. Okay, it's eight and a half out of 10. Minus points for, first of all, look at the picture. The picture says it's like super red and they have so much seaweed and roasted seaweed here. And then they have some kind of, they have kimchi here on the picture. But yeah, I didn't read that it only says serving success then. It doesn't mean that this comes inside, so it's not really good when the companies do this. They should show the pictures as it is. Oh, damn it spicy. Also, bonus points for having high quality wheat because it has a lot of protein, not just the carbohydrates. Yeah, what I miss, it would have maybe more of the flakes. The flakes and in flavor, but maybe there should have been more flavor. But overall, the flavor was really good. And if you're a spice fan, if you like spicy food, this is the right choice for you. I have to try more products from this Baldo company. They seem to be known what they're doing, but yeah. I need to go drink some milk. It's getting too much for me. This noodle, eight and a half. Baldo Korean noodles. Thanks for watching. And yeah, leave a comment if you have experience with the Baldo noodles. Like the video and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the future reviews. Thanks for watching.